So, Sad, you, you got ice on your left hand. Uh, you, you used your left hand well tonight. You did a bit of, bit of everything, a bit of kung fu, a bit of uh, point striking, and then plenty of grappling and wrestling. Yeah. You did everything. I, I like to have fun. You know, in, in the gym, I always have fun. When I fight, I uh, take it real serious, usually. So I can never get loose, but um, I hurt my hand in the first round, so I said, you know, I gotta, I gotta be versatile and uh, do what I do in the gym and have fun. And once I started to have fun, things started flowing. It's interesting because it was a pretty well-rounded fight. I mean, you guys did a little bit of everything. Was that the plan going in, or was that the adjustment you had to make when the left hand was hurt? You know what? I always go for the knockout, and, uh, and it, it didn't come. And I already knew, you know, JJ's a game opponent. Like I said, uh, when I first started fighting, he already had a name. You know, and I knew we would run into each other sooner or later because we're both from Southern California. And um, so I, I knew he was ready to bring everything. If I didn't put him away early, I knew he was going to come shoot. He's going to grapple. He's going to strike. He's going to kickbox. It was going to be a, a full-on MMA fight. Yeah, he's a tough guy, but it just seemed you were you were cut above at every opportunity. I mean, are you pretty satisfied with that win in there? Uh, I am. I am. You know, I, I faded a little bit in the third. You know, and I, I told myself I was going to cruise a little bit just so I don't get caught in anything stupid because uh, you know, I'm kind of fighting handicap a little bit, but. Um, you know, I could have did better. You know, I thought I was better prepared, but, you know, he, 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 he brought it. You expressed a little frustration coming in, you know, feeling like maybe you weren't getting the love that you should and the, and, and the shine that you're good. I mean, have, have you had a chance to talk to anybody about that or express your feelings there? Um, I haven't yet. You know, I've been a little bit vocal, but at the end of the day, they're going to give me who they want, you know, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll start asking for more people, but when I do ask, I don't get it. So, I don't know, maybe I put on a good, good performance and we'll see what comes next. So, with that in mind, I mean, do, do, is there an idea of what you would like next? I mean, is, knowing that maybe it won't come? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, everyone's here to fight for a title. So, you know, if, if the title's in, in the talks, you know, I'll take it. But I heard they just announced Chandler versus Primus 2. So, I mean, whoever's the top two guy, you know, I'd like to fight him to put myself in the title contention. Did you feel because of your injured hand that it actually... What made you hesitant at first in the first and second rounds, or was that, a, was that a idea going into the second round that you had? Uh, you know, I, I heard it in the first round, and um, you know, the game plan was kind of stand behind my jab, and that kind of went out the window. So I switched it up and started kicking, and then, and then once I started hurting his leg, he started shooting. So I knew it was going to be a grappling match. So it just I kind of went, you know, went with the flow. As he alluded to, you know, the, uh, as you alluded to. The lightweight championship picture is obviously set, but is there anybody that you specifically think that you should fight next that could propel you into that title shot? Uh, an exciting fight, man. I just want an exciting fight, whatever names out there that, like I said, I don't, I don't even know who's the top you know, five guys. Every time I think I'm the top five, you know, they announce it and they'll have completely different guys there. So whoever they think is top, you know, top three, I'll, I'll like to fight one of them. You know, and if not, just whoever's going to bring an exciting fight. You know, I've been fighting a lot of wrestlers lately, so I'm trying to fight striker, you know, because I'm tired of throwing a punch and getting grabbed on. I wanted to ask you, the crowd was very much in your corner. They started making a lot of noise. Were you aware of that? Did it impact your performance, give you more motivation or anything during the fight? Uh, it definitely did, you know, and I, I knew that was going to happen coming come here. You know, this is my backyard. This is, you know, I've been fighting here since, since I started fighting, and uh, I knew this was a small venue, and it was sold out, and, you know, sold out for a reason. A lot of my fans came down, friends and family. And I knew they were going to be loud, and uh, they, they did give me a little bit of a fire. The times that I, I couldn't push, I'd hear them yell, and then, you know, kind of lit a little fire and got me pushing. Speaking of the crowd, obviously you were close to home, but you got the W, you're on a nice run. Have you thought about where you'd like to fight next, if Bellator goes anywhere in particular? You know, we talked about it, you know, last interview, talking about going to, um, to Israel. You know, I'd love to, you know, go to visit Palestine and, you know, fight out there. You know, we had a good conversation about it, and uh, I'd love to go over there and fight, you know. You know, make some friends out there and show them that you know we, we can fly and still be friends after. Would that be the dream, really? Because they're looking to go there probably next November, so you might well fight maybe one or even two times before that. That that would definitely be the you know dream. I, I haven't been able to step you know foot over there due to due, you know borders being closed and you don't know when it's open and when it's closed and you know I could get stuck there. So you know my dad's never let me go there, and um, that's something that you know if I could get, get over there on a fight visa, you know I would, I would love to get over there and fight. You know. It's is the Holy Land kind of in your heart? It, it is. Everyone's deep in my blood.